Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to run a basic clash detection on a Navisworks managed model. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Navisworks Managed 2017. If I want to run a clash, then you want to head over to the Home tab of the ribbon, head over to the Tools panel, and make sure Clash Detective is turned on. When it's turned on, you can pin it down so it stays open. You can obviously change the size of this as well. And you can get into the display settings of the clashes. It's going to give you the first clash test here is a name that you can uh, set it up the way you want. You can add a new test. You can reset all of them. You can come back and close them. You can delete all of them. And so if I want to, um, I can go ahead and add a test. When I add the test, it's going to give it a name. And it's going to give us a status and what, how many clashes it has, whether the clashes have a status level of new, active, reviewed, approved, or resolved, the count will be listed here. When you work with doing clash uh, detection within Navisworks Manage, <clears throat> the easiest way to approach doing clashes is to work with sets. So if you have a whole bunch of sets already created to select groups of objects, you can run clash detection <clears throat> on one set versus another set. So for example, here under the clash detective, I'm going to say under selection A, look at sets. Under selection B, look at sets. And I can tell the software, compare any of the foundation data objects in that foundation set <clears throat> against any external walls sets within the same model. There are different uh, settings that you have down here. And you have it telling it to look at surfaces, telling you to look at the lines the geometry and any points as well and to also kind of prevent doing clash detection and reporting <clears throat> objects that are self-intersecting. You can also either use the current selection set or select within the scene specific objects. Since we're doing sets it's going to look at that foundation set and clash it against the external walls set. When we look at settings you'll see that there are different types of clash report capability uh, and clash detection capability. You have hard, hard conservative clearance and duplicates. Um, and then you have a tolerance level as well. So easiest way to learn the difference between all of these is just to try one and make the setting value changes. If you need to, you can link it to Timeliner. And for this purposes of this video, we're just going to run the test. <clears throat> Now that the test has been ran, what you're going to notice is it's going to list all the clashes that it thinks it, find, it um, found. And in this particular instance, we have 49 clashes. You have in the display settings a vertical tab here. It'll open this up and it'll let you know for highlighting purposes the first item against the second item. You can use the item colors or use status colors. You also have the ability to highlight all the clashes if you need to as well at one shot. And then you can tell it to dim others or not dim others. Typically dim is turned on so it's easy to see. And typically highlight all clashes is not turned on. That way when you select one particular clash in the list, it'll only show that data here. So it's easy to see. If I click another one, say clash two, is going to show me that as well. It's also going to set up transparent dimming and uh, we can also click focus in on the clash. And so we can use the wheel if we have to and scroll out. <clears throat> and so that's different ways for you to see all the different clashes that are available. Um, we have the ability to update the viewpoint if there's a viewpoint that works with those objects so that when the clashes have been adjusted, the viewpoints are updated automatically. When we look at the clashes, you're going to see a status here. So you can click inside and say active or set it to you know reviewed 
or set it to approved or set it to resolve. Um, you can left, you can hold, select one object, hold the shift key down and select another object and all of them will be selected at one shot. And you should be able to switch all of them at, in groups, if you will, to different statuses. It also tells you exactly the date and the time of when it was found. <clears throat> if it's been approved, it'll tell you who it was approved by and when, the date and the time. If you need to, you can rerun that test again after you've made some design changes and fixes. That way it will clear out the ones that are finished and then you'll have a much shorter list of clashes to show. Um, and then that's basically the essence of how to do a clash detection report um, of content within your Navisworks model. Thank you very much for watching.